Hey guys, <laughs> back at you with a uh, great fit. I think this is my fourth um, fit. Um, it's an on-demand subscription, ignore that. Um, and it is normally a $20 styling fee and I believe that you don't get that credited towards what you keep. But um, to be fully transparent, I do receive these boxes with a little bit of kickback. Um, I do only pay a dollar as part of their ambassador program to show you guys these videos, but all of my opinions are completely my own. Um, and then anything I keep, I get $20 towards, which is really awesome. Um, so I'm gonna go ahead and show you guys what I got. Um, I did have a preview, unlike Nadine West, right when the item goes out the door, you have a chance to go on the website if you don't want to be surprised if you want to to see everything that you got um once they you get the shipment notification um you can go on online and see uh what they picked out for you now it's anywhere from five to seven items i think that you get um it actually took them a little while because i remember going on there paying the dollar for the styling fee and it took them like i think like 10 days to actually send it out which was kind of weird it took kind of a while so I had to message them I'm like um is it going out soon like cuz I hadn't heard anything and it had been a while so I don't know why there was a little bit of a hold up but anyway that's it is what it is so I will show you the front roll all right so you get I think three to five days to try everything out I've, I've seen mixed reviews because I've seen three days and I see, I've seen five days. Um, so we get uh, the little return baggie that you know you can return anything you don't want, just like Stitch Fix, just like Nadine West, you get the little return, although Nadine West, you reuse the bag, but uh, most other companies, they will send you the bag to send things back in. And I will admit, I do find Drape Fit to be more reasonably priced than Nadine West for like the same, a lot of the same stuff. So it is, more cost effective all right so they send this little card um with all of your styling stuff last time i don't think they sent me my little gift card so they said i don't like they sent it to this time either so i guess it's like a promo code the first two times they sent it um so i've had to hold on to them because for whatever reason i last these last couple times they haven't sent it but we have the note from our stylist and then we have everything that you get in the bag listed out what the price breakdowns are and then let's see and then a little bit about great fit so I think it's my sixth box that's free I guess yes yeah, the sixth box that I review um, okay so yeah it's a little bit more reasonable than maybe West because they do actually have things in like the lower 20s although mmm the cheapest thing on here is that well, it's actually 19. That's the jewelry, and then the top 27.50. So I guess that's pretty on. This one's a little is pretty on par with Nadine West. All right, so this is I think um, they they send this to you each time. I think I've been having the same stylist every single time. Um, so my stylist's name is Alberta. Uh, I'm styling your fourth uh, fit box. I picked out a black floral asymmetrical midi skirt that can be paired with your cream cream short sleeve top or your black tank top and your gold and silver earrings. I chose a cute navy floral maxi dress. Lastly, I chose a pair of casual black pants that can be paired with your blue sleeveless top or your blue short sleeve flowy top. We sent you a, your special gift card from us provided to you, oh, to your provided email address. Oh, okay, so they emailed it to me. Okay, that's good to know because uh, maybe last time that happened and I don't know, I didn't know what happened. <laughs> okay, I hope you are delighted and I can't wait to read your feedback. Please uh, feel free to take a photo of you and your new fits and either email them or share them on your Instagram page. Now, I know I should be doing that and I, I'm really terrible. I keep forgetting to take pictures on my Instagram and I know I need to build, build it up as far as like my fashion fits and stuff. But I keep forgetting. All right, anyway, so here's the bag. But so here is the bag. It's nice and neatly sealed. I think Nadine West would probably just do something like this. But they send me so much stuff that I, it's probably not going to arrive like this. Um, so they wrap it in, like, in bundles, and a lot of times they kind of come apart. Um, now this they, they wrap pretty neatly in this um, 
like tissue paper. Yeah, so very cool. All right. So here's a sneak peek of what's in there. Okay, so, all right. Here is our first item. Um, I'm not, and I'll probably ma might have to make a note because I'm not really a big fan of like the tops that, that are kind of tied around the neck. Um, let's see. So this is a medium. So I get medium and tops. This is by REB or Reb and J 220. I've never heard of that brand. It actually kind of reminds me of a top I've seen at Ross. Um, this is actually kind of cute. But I don't, I don't really like this, and I think they sent me a top like this in the last, uh, the last fit box, and I wasn't overly enthused. Now I like the color, I just don't really like this, the tight neck. Um, I don't have like a gag reflex or anything, but I just, I just don't find it comfortable. Um, but this is like the little, um, little keyhole back that they got going on. So we got this one. It's actually kind of cute for like going back into like the office and stuff. Um, it has like these flowy sleeves. I do like that. I really do feel like they sent me something similar in my last box. So as far as this top, very, very similar. All right. So, okay. I can see this being an outfit. So here's a pair of pants that you could actually pair with that top. Oh, these are nice and stretchy. I like these. Uh, these are by Show Show and these are large. I like these. These these um these are more stretchier than a lot of what Navy West sends. And if they fit, maybe I might keep them. Um, I don't go into the office that much these days. I mean that could change, but um, I like these. I like these kind of legging pants cross. Um, you kind of see they have buttons and like these faux yeah they're faux pockets. I don't like faux pockets. Just get pockets or not get pockets. I don't know. I don't know. I don't like faux pockets. I really don't. I just don't see the point of them. So these are regular pockets in here. So these are perfect for um, office casual. Really is. But let's see how much they are. So let's see. I'm scared, guys. I'm scared. All right. Um, okay. So the tummy control skinny pants are twenty nine seventy five. It's not as bad as Nadine West because Nadine West, I think, has been trying to sell like these like, like same type of pants for like forty dollars. So it is a little bit cheaper, but I feel like that's still a little bit high. Um, now, if they fit me really amazing, I might keep them because I have the worst time with pants. Um, so we'll see, but it's still high. I, I, you know, you could get these for for sure less than twenty at Ross. Like maybe I'd say like maybe around fifteen. 10 to 15. Um, so it's not an expensive brand. This is a brand I, I've seen a lot of times at TJ Maxx and Clarence as well for like six dollars. <laughs> um, but we'll see. They seem like really stretchy, soft, and comfortable. And yeah, so might need might need them for the office at some point. Um, yeah, those actually seem stretchy enough and comfortable. So all right. So the next one is this mint green kind of uh, oversized top. This is actually kind of nice. I like this. Um, this is by Yolette, another Nadine West brand. Um, and it has like a little keyhole. Now this actually could work well with that, uh, those pants as well, going into the office. Um, and it can also work with leggings. I really like the color, but I'm just trying to think how I would style it because when I wear like like kind of oversized shirts like this I kind of wear them with leggings and this seems like kind of kind of more of a like spring like I'm like it's probably like a spring top um it's really cute I'm just trying to th think mm, we'll see we will see on that um okay so this one is linen tank top I don't think we've gotten to oh okay so the this top the short detail pleat top uh it's labeled as blue but it's more like a mint green it looks blue in the picture it looks like a baby blue but it's like a mint green color uh it's 27.50 so it's not too bad um 
I think that's one. I think that's the cheapest item in the box, actually. I'm just trying to think how how I would wear it. I do like the color. Um. Hmm. I have to think. Give something. Give that some thought. Try some things on together and see. I do got to keep one thing because you know I have the twenty dollar uh, gift card. Forgot about that. <laughs> that makes a difference. Okay, so this next one is a dress. This is the THML. That's, I think, uh, something they sent last time. Now, I'll be quite honest, I'm not really a huge fan of the print. Um, it's just not really in my style. It's a lot of kind of like neutral florals, and it kind of gives me kind of like teacher librarian vibes. I Now, I like the style. I like the dress. Now, I just don't, I'm not a really big fan of the print. Um, it just seems kind of more matronly, I think is a nice way to say it. Kind of matronly, and I don't know what this is about. It just seems kind of weird. Plus, I kept something kind of similar last time that I did like more. But I'm just not really a big fan of the print. Uh, it's also a lot of neutrals. Now, it kind of looks like a like, kind of looks like leopard print. But I'm just not really a fan of the like kind of like more navy and neutral colors. So I probably won't be keeping that one. Plus I think that one was one of the more expensive ones, I think. Oh no, maybe not. Oh, it's $35.99. There's a tank top in here that's $40. All right. Okay. Okay, so we have another skirt, kind of similar print to that dress. So this is the by Hayden Los Angeles. Oh, it looks like a boutique kind of kind of skirt. So this is what it looks like. It's kind of a little bit of a high low. I, apparently that's out now, but like it's kind of not. It's a little bit subtle, I guess. I don't know. Let's see. Okay, so you can just it just kind of has a little bit in the front and the back. Um, I'm not crazy about about the print. Now this would probably be okay with the um, like a white or a neutral colored top. I think I have a lot of well, could probably wear get away with wearing this with like a sage green kind of top or maybe like an army green like I'm wearing here. Um, it's cute, but I'm just not crazy about the print. I'm not super crazy about it. Um, but we'll see. Try that out. Um, that one, let's see, is $29.99, so it's not too bad of a price, and, okay, so let's see what we got next, okay, so, okay, this, this is actually, could be paired with that dress, uh, this is also by Reb and J, kind of like that first top. So this is kind of um, like has this sheer lace, lace? I don't know if it's lace, like top. I actually, I feel like I have a similar top, a kind of like similar style, very similar. I don't normally gravitate towards like this color unless it actually could work really well with this dress. Although I don't know if I'd want to wear a like kind of flowy type of t-shirt with the dress like that. Let me take a peek at what the stylist suggested. Um, yeah, okay, yeah. Yeah, so I guess it. this is meant to be paired with the skirt or your black tank top. Okay, I haven't gotten to the tank top. I think, I think this might be the tank top that's almost $40. I'm definitely not keeping I can't believe a tank top is $40. That's insane. This is actually by Zara. I actually do like Zara. The, I was actually thinking about Zara. Like, I have some Zara tops that could, could go well with this. Um, so this is the linen tank top. This is actually cute. Um, again, I don't normally go towards, like, black tops because, again, I have six cats, so... Yeah. Um... It's cute. I don't know why they try to overprice Zara. Now I'm like, I like seeing this brand, these brands, 
inside the subscription box but they're so overpriced because it's way cheaper at zara zara is another like like an h m you know fast fashion it shouldn't be 40 dollars for a top like i have gotten tops like this at zara for like 15 dollars like um 10 to 15 dollars clearance still like never 40 dollars that seems really expensive um so i actually think this would actually be cute with the skirt but it's just so expensive and they had jeans zara jeans on one of my shipments but they were 60 dollars and i'm like it's i'd rather just go to zara and buy it <laughs> because it's way cheaper like i get you're paying more for a subscription box but that's like way expensive just like ambiance and stuff like that are kind of overpriced here too and you can get them at ross for a lot less um but we'll see I think it's cute. I just don't want to pay $40 for a tank top that I'm only going to wear with like a couple things, you know? Ah, but it is cute. It's cute. It's cute. We'll see. Okay. Should be like 20 or like, I don't know, maybe like 30, you know, I can see. But $40, I don't know. Okay, so here are the gold. I don't mind gold. I usually go towards silver, but I don't mind gold and silver um, earrings. This is by Tell Your Tail. I've never heard of that brand. It's actually kind of cute, but I don't think I want to spend $20 on earrings. I've got plenty right now. Um, you know, it's got to be something like uh, I really, really like to, <laughs> to, warrant, to warrant spending that much, you know, but I do like the... Um, like the mix of gold and uh, silver going on here. I do like it. I'm not gonna take it out because it looks like it's stapled inside. Um, and like, I saw in another video where it's like, you know, I mean, I didn't really think about it, but it's not really super hygienic to be like trying jewelry on and then like, you know, goes to the next person, you know. So I'm gonna leave it in the package. So, I mean, if it's a bracelet, that's one thing, but I, you know, you're putting earrings in your ears and all that stuff. So I'm not gonna try this on, but mm, I, meh, yeah, that's kind of how I'm feeling about um, this, uh, this shipment. Um, now I, I'm gonna keep something because I have a $20 gift card, although I noticed there's nothing like much less than $30, so I still do end up paying something. Um, so it's like a coupon, I guess, that they get. That's kind of like a coupon. Um, now, I would be about this, but this, this top is so expensive. Uh, the skirt isn't terrible. This is, uh, is $29.99, so it's $30, $40. That's still $70. So like, even if I took off like even if I get the twenty dollars off, that's still fifty dollars for both of these, and I don't know if that's what I really want to spend. Um, I'll try it on and see how I feel. Um, I'm not crazy really about too much else, although maybe the pants if they fit well. Um, okay, let's try these things on, guys. Okay, all right, guys. So I decided to try this on first. This is the top and the dress. Um, it's cute. Now, I feel like if I got the skirt, I'd be inclined to keep the top. But I'm, I don't love the skirt. I like it. I don't love it. I think the tank top is actually kind of cute. It, the style is cute. I do like Zara's style. It is like a loose-fitting tank, and I do like that. Um, and this is a medium too, so it's nice and loose-fitting. I'm not crazy about the pattern of the skirt. I'm, I'm just really not. Um, so, and if I don't keep the skirt, then I don't really see the point of keeping keeping the tank. Although I could wear this with um, another skirt. I do have, I have to think about what I have in my closet. So I have a, a tie-dye skirt and a, I could probably pair this with a white skirt, but not the tie-dye one. Um, and probably I could probably pair this with a pair of high waisted dress pants for $40, guys. It's kind of a lot. Now, I like the style. I think the style is super cute. Um, I just don't, I don't like the price. Now, even if it was maybe $10 less and I just kept this one thing and like I only paid 10 bucks, that's fine. But 
kind of a mat. I don't know. <laughs> um, yeah, so I don't think I'll be keeping the skirt. It's just not really, I don't really love the pattern. And I'm trying to do this like thing where if I don't love it, I'm not going to keep it, you know? Um, I actually really do like this one. I'd be inclined to keep this. And, you know, I could wear just like um, some, like a, like a strappy bra, like a paste on bra um, with this one. Um, I can wear a paste on bra with this tank. It'd be okay. I actually really do like this tank. It's expensive, but mm. I not love I'm not loving the skirt, but I could honestly I can wear this with anything else, like a pair of shorts or I could find another dress I like more and wear with that. I just don't like the pattern. I don't love this pattern. So I'm not gonna keep it. Um I don't know, I'm gonna have to probably put it in my notes again. I feel like I don't know if they really look at feedback too much because I'm pretty sure I put it last time like I'm not really big on like a lot of neutrals that much. Um, although they did give a nice, really pretty, uh, like, mint green top, and, like, the blue, blue top's fine, um, but, yeah, so, alright, guys, so maybe on this, because at least if I kept it, at least I, I can get it for 20, I guess, if I don't really like anything else, because I'm kind of feeling meh about this shipment, so let's see, let's find out. Alright, guys, so here's the beige kind of looking top. Um, but they said that can be paired with a skirt. Now, I would, I don't think I'd wear it like this. That looks kind of weird. I'd have to, like, tuck it in. Otherwise, it looks a little funky. Um, now, this matches. I'm not, cra I'm not crazy about it, though. Just, again, I'm more of, like, like a vibrant colored gal. Um, and I just feel like, mm, this kind of washes me out a little bit. Um, but I figured I would try on this top with the skirt since they were kind of either or type of situation. Um, I don't, this, I'll, I'll let you know, is not very comfortable. This, um, this like lace type of detail is kind of scratchy, so I don't think I really like that. Um, if it was like mesh, it should be okay, but it's, just, yeah, it's not really comfortable. So I think it will be going back along with the skirt. And so let's try on the other dress. All right, guys, here's the dress. It's actually kind of com it's comfortable. It's not, not really, it's not quite like a bodycon, but it does kind of, kind of uh, slim down around here, if you know what I mean? Kind of hugs the, the lower part. Um, you know, if, if this was a different pattern or color, I might consider it, because the style is cute. It has pockets. I'm just not crazy about the pattern. Um, it's not really for me and I don't know what this like bright red is about and <laughs> it just seems weird um, I guess to maybe make it pop a bit more I don't know um, I do like the sleeves I like the flutter sleeves I like that um, and otherwise everything else about it is is, is fine and I again I'd be glad to keep it if it's just a different color or pattern um, but I'm just not I'm not crazy about it not crazy about the pattern so it will be going back y'all all right guys so here's the first top with the pants now the pants are okay they got up over the hips I don't really like the way they feel on the inside they're not like the most comfortable material on the inside um I left the unbuttoned back of the top so I could get it on. Um, but nah, I'm not feeling the top. I don't like the way it sits here either. The sleeves are fine, but I just don't, I don't like, it's not even buttoned and it's like too close to my neck. Um, so I don't care for that. But um, color is nice. Just not a fan of this thing. Um, pants, I think, again, these were like 30, you know, I was afraid they rolled down. I had to kind of shimmy into them, um, kind of uh, thinking about it, 
I mean, something I can wear into the office. Um, I don't know. I don't think they're that comfortable in like inside. I don't like the material. Um, but nice blend of uh, it's been it's been like well into the hundreds here in California. So I do appreciate that they included both dresses and some tanks and some things kind of going into fall since it's not really quite you know cold weather here. Um, but yeah, so let's try on the last top and I'll give you my final thoughts. All right, so here's the final two. This actually could work going into the office as well. So it's like a flowy, flowy top. Um, the Elite, you know, has, I really like some other stuff, but sometimes the material is really quite thin. Um, this isn't too bad, because if I were to wear this to work, I have to make sure it's not, you know, too sheer. Uh, hmm. I think it's cute. I do really like the color. Actually, looks pretty decent with the pants. So, this is cute. Hmm. Undecided. I don't think. Mm. I don't think. <sighs> now, this actually could be cute, like going to the office, and it's not. Because I don't really get that cold here, so. This actually is kind of cute for wearing into the office. Um, and I probably would wear uh, a top like this with these pants. <sighs> hmm, but this one, this one actually wasn't too expensive. I think, yeah, it was only 27 and then the pants, um, I just don't want to spend $30 on the pants. Uh, to neutral skinny pants. So this is, yeah, it's $30 basically for the pants. It just seems like a lot. They fit fine. It's, it's like not crazy comfortable. I'll have to ch I'll check my pants and see like if I have other pants that are similar because I did you know, Show Show again is not an expensive brand. So I don't know if I just I want to pay that much for it. I do like the top, the fact that the top is long in the back. So, I don't know, I'll have to see and then I'll come back. Uh, I will come back and update you guys on what I end up keeping. All right, guys. So I ended up deciding to only keep the pants in the shipment um, and only paid the extra nine dollars. Everything just seemed really expensive, so I just kept the pants. And I also came back to say that when they received my items, they also charged me for earrings. The earrings that uh, I showed you earlier on, the gold and silver toned, um, I did not keep them. I sent them an email right away because I got an email saying that they had charged me uh, because with Great Fit, you check out uh, before you send everything back and let them know what you're going to keep, and then you pay right then. Um, but when they got the bag back, I got an email that uh, they charged me for some earrings, and I emailed them back, said did not keep them. I was a little disappointed because I had waited a few days before I heard back from them. I messaged them on Instagram, sent them an email, hadn't heard any response. Um, so finally I had sent another email saying that I would have to file a charge back on my credit card if I did not hear back from them about it. So at that point, someone finally responded, uh, and clarified that, you know, asked, oh, did, uh, are you, did you forget to put it back in the bag? Anything like that? I'm like, no, I remember putting these in the bag and sealing it. And I even looked around uh, my office just in case where I did the filming. I didn't see anything. I'm certain that I put their earrings back in the bag. Um, so I explained that to them. Um, I mean, which I did in the first email. I clearly said I did not keep them. And then they're like, oh, you, um, 
we didn't receive the earrings back. And I'm like, I don't know what happened, but I definitely put them in there and I sent them back. So it kind of gave me a little bit of NW vibes. Um, it wasn't the best experience, but ultimately they did make it right. They did uh, refund me uh, for, for what they charged me. But I just was not happy about the fact that they charged me without saying anything, without emailing me, especially being part of their ambassador program. So I do hope that they fix that kind of moving forward. Um, it's the first time that's happened with RateFit, but I have to be fully transparent about that. I think it's important that folks know. I will also be emailing them about removing my credit card information from my profile because for whatever reason, you cannot remove any payment cards that you have on your profile manually uh, so I have to contact them and that's another feature I really just don't like I feel like that your credit card or your bank information is stuck there because you cannot delete it so I'm gonna have to ask them to delete it because it's just <laughs> not cool um, I, I hope that this doesn't happen again I don't know what happened I don't know if it, it something happened in the mail but I definitely returned the item um, I felt like the customer service could have been a little bit better. Um, whenever that's happened with Nadine West, I don't know if it's because they have a dedicated person running my account now, but usually when I notify Nadine West um, about anything, really, I, someone gets back to me within like an hour, like no matter what time of night it is, sometimes it's in the evening, sometimes it's in the morning, they usually respond really quickly and rec to rectify the situation. Um, so I do appreciate that about NW, um, but with DrapeFit, um, I've kind of noticed that the customer service kind of is kind of slow and is not always very thorough. Um, so just be mindful of that. So thank you guys so much for watching. Please don't forget to like and subscribe, share, all that good stuff. I'd super appreciate it. And I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye.